President Biden says he wants half the cars made in this country to be fully or partly electric by the end of the decade. That's millions of cars, trucks, and SUVs, all powered by lithium-ion batteries. Ben Tracy tells us more about lithium, the new oil. In the mountains of northern Nevada, the fuel of the future lies in the shadow of the past. This is gorgeous. Yeah, and it's crazy to think that 16 million years ago, this was the site of a giant volcanic eruption. This area is called Thacker Pass, and volcanologist Tom Benson has been searching the world for places just like it. He says an eruption here millions of years ago left behind the keys to unlock the electric vehicle revolution. It's called lithium, the lightest solid element on that chart most of us only periodically remember from high school chemistry. Rechargeable lithium-ion batteries are what power our cell phones, computers, even toothbrushes, and are now the fuel for all those electric vehicles starting to roll off the assembly line. What's the connection between volcanoes and lithium? Pretty much all lithium comes from volcanoes. In the coming years, when people are driving their electric cars down the road, there's a good chance the lithium in that battery will come from here. Yes, that's, that's the hope. Benson works for Lithium Americas, a mining company that owns the rights to Thacker Pass, the largest known lithium deposit in the United States. The company expects to potentially extract 80,000 tons of lithium a year. That's enough to power about a million vehicles. So none of this looks particularly high tech. No, it's not. I mean, Jonathan Evans is president of the company. It's really the blood in a battery. Without it, uh, the batteries won't work. With automakers pledging to soon make most of their vehicles electric, lithium demand is expected to increase as much as tenfold in the next decade. Right now, most of it is mined in Chile and Australia, and almost all of it is processed in China. The United States has just one lithium-producing mine in southern Nevada, providing less than 2% of world supply. Is it an option for the U.S. not to be in this field and to let other countries supply this? And I think the answer is no. We have a lot of competitors in the world that if we don't do something about it, others are going to be happy to. And one of those countries is China? Yes. How far behind are we? Years. Decades. The future of the auto industry is electric. There's no turning back. Jump-starting the switch to EVs is key to President Biden's plan to cut U.S. greenhouse gas emissions in half by 2030 to slow climate change. This sucker's quick. The Department of Energy has released a national blueprint for lithium batteries. It says relying on other countries creates a strategic vulnerability for the U.S. economy. So we are right to the beginning of this journey, and therefore what's ahead of us is so huge. Alan Swan is president of Panasonic Energy North America. That's a lithium-ion battery, it's a 2170. He runs the largest lithium-ion battery factory in the world, just outside Reno, Nevada. It produces two billion batteries each year. All of them are for just one electric car maker, Tesla. Do you guys ever shut down? Does this ever take a break? No, no, never, never stop, 24-7. 365 days a year. We don't stop. The batteries are made on the Panasonic side of this massive facility known as the Tesla Gigafactory. And then these robots, humming along to the theme from the Super Mario Brothers video game, drive them to the Tesla side where they are put inside the cars. What do we as a country need to do or what do companies need to do to meet this new demand? We don't have a supply chain here in the United States. We have to work hard at that. And if we get that right, we're, we're going to rock in America, which will be really powerful. Are we going to see more battery factories like this all over the country? Yeah, fundamentally, yes. I mean, it's not even touching the bottom of the barrel at this point, so there's a long way to go. Those factories will need a lot of lithium. It's a huge variety of things. It could be cell phone batteries, laptop batteries. 
which is why J.B. Straubel, the CEO of Redwood Materials and a former Tesla executive, says all those lithium batteries need to be recycled. The sheer number of batteries and the sheer number of vehicles is, is massive. So if there is no scaling ahead of time and no solution ready, it, it could become a big challenge. Trucks arrive at his Carson City warehouse every day, loaded with boxes of old batteries from electric cars to power tools. His company is partnering with Ford to help turn old batteries into new ones. Ford just announced plans to build two massive battery manufacturing plants in the U.S. I think, you know, recycling the batteries is, is a must. You know, the material is sort of coming at us, <laughs> and we don't really have a choice of, you know, should we or should we not recycle it? Lithium is now so valuable, it's called white gold. There's believed to be billions of dollars worth of it here at Thacker Pass alone. And while it may be essential to a greener future, getting it out of the ground comes with its own environmental cost. The claim that this would be a green mine is extremely dangerous. Max Wilbert is part of a group of protesters yeah, this is our camp. Uh, who have been camping here. out on the Thacker Pass mine site since January. He says lithium is not the silver bullet many believe it to be because of the impact of mining on the land and the large amounts of wastewater created by lithium extraction. If we're trying to move away from fossil fuels, is the environmental impact at a site like this the lesser of two evils? You know, that's a really good question, but I think the problem is that's the wrong framing. Global warming is a huge problem, but in this attempt to save the planet from climate change, people are actually believing that we can save the planet by destroying it. Lithium Americas admits there will be environmental impacts, but claims new mining technology will lead to less damage. The company plans to begin its operation next year, potentially creating a lithium boomtown in nearby Winnemucca, Nevada. If you believe in climate change, if you are worried about competitiveness, if we're worried about um, jobs being lost, then assets like this, development like this in the U.S. is necessary.